Hello team and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a dynamic filter search box for your Excel spreadsheets so that as you type text in, you'll see your Excel list or table updates only displaying the results. We'll start off by creating this for one column, in this case, the name column, but I'll also show you how you can set this up so that when you enter text, it'll filter for any of the columns you have within your spreadsheet. Let's jump in and take a look. In order to best explain how to set up the search box on your Excel spreadsheet, we'll create the search box and filtered search list on the same tab where the original spreadsheet is. Keep in mind this isn't required like you saw from the example at the start of the video. In order to begin, we'll use the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab yet in your ribbon, it's easy to add. You can just right click the ribbon, select customize, and check mark the box for developer. Now click the insert dropdown and select the text box option. We'll draw the text box over our filtered list and then select properties. On the properties dialog box, head to the linked cell option and link the search box to a cell located directly behind it so the text can't be viewed. For this example, I'll select cell F1. Now you can close out of the properties box and also deselect design mode from the developer tab. Now we'll enter the filter function into this cell. The array that we'll use for the filter function is our entire table we have here on the left. Enter a comma. Then in order to allow the search box to find a partial match, we're going to use the isNumber function. Follow that up with the search function. For the find text argument within the search function, we'll enter the same cell the search box is linked to, which was F1. After a comma, since the first column we're gonna search by is the name column, I'll click and highlight that entire column on my spreadsheet on the left, close that with two parentheses, a final comma, and then if empty, I'll tell Excel to return a no match. Final closing parentheses and click enter. Now that I have my spreadsheet appearing using my filter function, as I begin typing in a name, you'll see the list updates, even if it's just a partial match. However, if I type in one of the names of one of the trainings the employees has taken, I'll test it out with email, you'll see Excel returns no match because we haven't yet implemented that column in the filter function. Now let's take a look at how to update this function to search multiple columns. In order to begin, we're going to wrap the first isNumber function within parentheses at the beginning and at the end. I'll use the Alt plus Enter key to create some space. Then we'll use the plus symbol to add an OR statement. After entering the plus symbol, we're going to duplicate the isNumber and search functions from the previous step and just change out the columns being searched. So in parentheses, I'll enter isNumber again, then search, the cell we're referencing, and then we'll be searching within the second column or training. Close parentheses for this function and complete that one additional time for training status. Now that all columns are cared for within this filter function, I can click enter. And now let's test out our results. In the search box, I'll type out email and you'll see the correct result appears. I can also search for training status of not started and you'll see as I begin typing that works as well. Team, I hope you enjoyed this video today. In the description, I'll link another video that shows you how to highlight your search results using conditional formatting.